What's going on guys? I'm here at CES 2024 and this is really, really cool. There is a drone soccer World Cup league that I did not know about called FIDA, F-I-D-A. They brought out the entire arena here, uh, the official size, and they even have the World Cup, the trophy there that's gonna happen for 2025. So we have a full on course here and a bunch of the professional teams are here flying and competing. Something that is just super cool to see in person, nice and safe, they're all, uh, all the drones are all caged up, but really cool just to see that it's literally like five on five soccer, basketball, they're, they're flying through these hoops. I was at the other uh, hall this morning testing out these smaller drones, just flying it around in there. This is a full on drone soccer league. I'm gonna have Tim talk a little bit more about it and I'll just have him go through exactly kind of the history of it and also what they're doing now for a lot of education purposes. Uh, a lot of the kids out there. So let me pass it over to Tim, talk a little bit more about FIDA. My name's Tim Ingram. I'm with uh, FIDA USA and FIDA, which is the governing body of drone soccer worldwide. Presently, there's 28 countries that are part of the organization. And our next World Cup is in Korea in 2025, which they are building a $25 million stadium just for drone soccer. So we're excited because as you can see here in Vegas, we're in the international stage. This is where the international competitions and demonstrations have been taking place at the CES show all week. Perform, we've had Team USA, we've had Team Grossmont College, and we've had Team American Legion having exhibition matches against the Korean national team who are number one in the world. Um, it started six years ago in Korea uh, after the game of cribbage, the, the movie and they came up with the idea of creating a drone sport. It's five on five. Uh, one striker can score. One midfielder, if the striker goes down, becomes the this, this striker, and then three defenders. These drones fly about 100 miles an hour. They're crashing into each other. They're smashing into each other. It's, it's a fantastic sport. But even more importantly than the, the professional, the high-end level here we're, we're putting into colleges and universities, is we have a program that we can reach four-year-old kids teaching drones with our smaller ball. We have a drone class 20 and a drone class 20 evolution ball um, that are going on sale online, but we uh, mostly deal with the public school system. So obviously this is the World Cup trophy for 2025. So, and this is the official ball for the, uh, the World Cup. We're expecting 36 countries to be represented. This is the most basic one. As you can see, it's, it's uh, really light really safe. This is the one we teach four-year-old kids to fly. It's really stable, it's not gonna hurt them, it's not gonna cut their fingers off or anything like that, but it still, it still motors at about 24 to 30 miles an hour. It can do flips, it can do all kinds of crazy stuff. The battery goes in, it's three periods of three minutes each. So, and that's mostly because the batteries last about five minutes on these. And so on the scoreboard, it'll be going for three minutes and then you have a change to fix your drones. And then we get up to the big time league. This is what the world championships play with. Um, this is called a class 40 drone. This will go about 90 miles an hour. And when you have 10 of them going 90 miles an hour, it's, it's pretty intense. For more info on, on all our programs, you can go to FIDAUSA.com. You know, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff, but FIDA, F-I-D-A, USA dot com. So we're excited to be FIDA USA and, and uh, reaching the masses across the United States.